Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing on the new expansion. So, we are playing Lux and Tarek as our first deck today. This deck is unrefined as we will be going in for the first time with this deck. Um, the entire idea of this deck is just keeping units healthy, keep them trading well, uh, and then use Golden Aegis on Tarek to attack three times in one turn and hopefully win. Through that, we have Arbiter as kind of the top end, but mainly the top end is Mountain Sojourners. So, we're just going to go straight into the games, hopefully show you how this deck runs, and yes, we'll hopefully win some games, we'll see. So, straight into some games, let's go. Okay, for game number one, we're going against Morgana and Vex. So, Gloom and Doom. Um... We can probably run them out pretty quick if we get a good start. So let's see. Alright, we have a pretty decent start here. We have Ibex, Lux, and Inspiring Light. So if we um get a decent start, like we can do this and then this next turn. Grants a unit gloom. So that can do it immediately. Okay. So you can do that straight away, I think. Yeah. So, I've been gloomed. But we're going to inspire in light anyway. And it's going to get spirit twice because we're going to do looks in this. So we should be okay. So, let's do this. So we're going to push quite a bit of damage here. Nice. So this store is going to be completed soon. That's 7 damage on turn 3. That's a... Uh, that's pretty good. We get Tarek as well. Wait, we have the support train. All aboard! I'm ready to shine. Okay. What does Vex do? Vex was the strongest. So it's going to be Tarek. So we'll take the damage from this. Then we can block. This has generated something. Yeah, so that'll go on Tarek. <laughs> that animation's so good. So she's 3 of 5. Okay, that's pretty quick. Okay, so let's play Sojourners. And then the May play Morgana, but if they do, we kind of, we're just going to have to deal with it. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. I have found such beauty. Not doing Sojourners? Up now. Everyone okay? That seems pretty crazy. Considering it's a grunt as well. Because now this Tarek is a... 4, 5? 4, 6? Yeah, so... So we've got a Grant and Ally Spirit. Oh, that targets as well? That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, let's do this. And let's go... Let's just go for Landmark, right? Okay. So that'll be Gloom on here. Okay, goes to seven. Okay. Lux is not quite leveled yet. Everything is awful. So Vex is leveling. Everything. 
Everything is misery. I say we take the damage here. We'll take the damage. We'll pass. We'll play the shackles. Oh wait, and we have this and this. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna be fine. We are gonna be just okay. Uh, let's pull this over here. We can play this. I mean, actually, I think the better thing would be to do this, then this, then this. Yeah, that seems that seems pretty good. Hmm, that seems pretty good, eh? <laughs> Everyone's leveling. So at the moment, if we do this, Tarek gets plus two plus two, Lux gets plus two plus two, and this gets plus two plus two. <laughs> Try hard. So we cast this. And it's enough that we get lethal. If they don't have anything. Oh wow. We are stronger together. We fight together. This like I knew this deck was gonna be good. I knew it. I knew it. That felt pretty good. But look at these stats as well. Casual 13-14. Solid, solid performance for game one. Let's do game two. Okay, so we're going against Nico and Yasuo, which I assume is going to take advantage of the spider and the stun birds. The, so there's the Noxus spider cards. Yeah, that has to be that has to be the only thing really. So lots of stuns. We do have Golden Aegis. We do have Lux in the opener. We have Ibex and Lux, which I think is probably one of the strongest combos, so... Let's see. We're also running the new Anniversary card, card back, because we uh, don't have the, uh, the Lux card back yet. Ah, yes. The true devil of Rune's Error. So it's played this. Then we can inspire in light next turn and everything gets spirit. And that'll be I am Luxana, four mana. Okay, let's block I one. Light in the darkness. Double dog is pretty good, however, they did wait to play this, so I think this one might be uh Nico. So we'll see. Oh wait, no, we do have enough mana for this plus this, so. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall. Honestly, I'm just gonna cast this preemptively. We are stronger together. Because killing Yasuo was actually really important. Finish with a bottle. Yeet. Got it in the bin. I'm just like wood. You gain the attack token. Okay. We're in this together. Right. So they have the Yasuo. But we have this, so. We attack. Okay. Looks like opponent is a uh, trolling. Good to know. God, I wasn't a fan of looks in um just as a play style, but like this looks, this looks I can get behind. Look at this. 
I told you it was Nico. I told you. I told you. I knew it. Right, do they have deny? They don't, but they might have a stun. Oh, true, yeah. You, uh... It's a good card for him to actually run. I completely forgot that that was a... Card. So we'll do this. We'll destroy the landmark. Maybe I do have a future. So we'll destroy a landmark. So yeah, we'll just get rid of one. We'll take the uh, nine damage. Life and death on the blade's edge. Uh, destroy a landmark. Just get rid of that. Like you have to be running these in a, a deck like this. So if they have another double stun or a unit, it's always better to open attack. Um, so you have to stop two of them. We can at least kill the Asawo. So that's a good thing. So... Because this is going to say, when I gain spirit, gains it again. So this should give three spirit. I am not afraid of the light so, we're getting, we're getting the, the levels. So do you have a way to stun all... Yes. Yes, you do. Okay, so. You can do this. Oh! That gave a lot more than I was thinking it was going to. So, let's do that again. It's a plus four? I didn't even think it was going to work like that, but you know. Wait, buddy. I guess you just didn't have any answers. That card, pretty good with looks, eh? Pretty good with looks. Okay, Nora and looks. So I assume this is just gonna go all in on the like spirit boosting aspect. Um, let's keep the uh, Luminous Sprite in hand. Um, hopefully we can get some. Uh, Units. We got the inspiring light, which is Does nice. The name light feather mean anything to you? They should take notes. Oh, God. Jaro light feather. What a uh, what a fellow. <clears throat> First time an enemy is summoned, grant it gloom. Um. Well, ironically, it's probably good if we did trade that. Because this isn't doing anything, and I'd rather my next unit not be compromised. Okay, we got Ibex. Okay, what we can do, we can do Lux. We can do this, this. Basically, we can play these four cards. Huh? I don't like that. Um, yeah, so let's just play play out the units. Play for that strategy. We'll take the five. Play this. We'll play Lux. Then we'll play Inspiring Light. And then everything's going to get boosted. And then this can then give plus two, plus two to 
to this. Because we'll get spirit from this, spirit from the Lux. Oh yeah, this animation by the way, I saw this on a quickly on Sunny stream before. I uh, started recording, but uh, the animation there is pretty cool. Okay, so everything gets boosted. Everything is plus three, plus three, but I'm sorry to tell you, my units are actually just a bit bigger. So, uh, <laughs> how do you like them apples? So we have buffs. Well, that's pretty cool as well, actually. Okay, so we can resolve this. So, how big is everything going to be? You are going to not level, right? Allies have attacked with or gained... Huh. So, five damage, five damage. So we're going to have to block. So let's make it so they can't afford. And if we do this, we'll have enough mana for exactly this. Okay. That's fine. So we'll take that. We'll play Tarek. We can Veiled Blessing pre-combat. Just so that we can spread some buffs out. They shouldn't have much to do to stop us doing what we want to do here. Like, this is always going to give quite a lot of keywords. So, like, this can go like this, and then like this. So, that becomes five. Is there any way we can make that bigger? Uh, it just shares the keywords for this round. So, we can at least trade with something. Maybe it was better to wait to cast that until Lux leveled, because it was a plus four, right? So, kind of everything would have been a lethal. But we have good blocks here, so I'm not going to complain. We still have a plus four in hand. I'll have to break through everything. Oh, yeah, we'll just play this. That's fine. So, yeah, we'll play this. Anyone gathered here is an enemy it immediately gets gloomed. That's a cool card, by the way. So, they'll do this. So they, they definitely got a card in hand. Okay. So, they're just boosting. And then we'll just force to block. Which is fine, because we've got this. Which is a plus four. They're not going to expect a plus four. This can block the locks. Yeah, we should be fine here. Literally, I'm not even worried. Not even worried. Like, they're going to get buffed. Uh, this is going to get barrier, so like that's why we put this one here. So... Such petty defiance. We do this. Why was I so afraid of? <laughs> That's a thick-ass boy! <laughs> and then scholarly, scholarly Pioneer can kill this Lux. Oh, and we have Rally? Hell yeah. We are not even close to being worried in this game, by the way. Just to, yeah. As I was say, not even close. Not even close. I am glad that this deck is performing well. 
Okay, Talia and Lilia. So this was the deck list that Sunny was playing just before I uh, started the recording. Um, so yeah, let's see how we perform into his crit. Did we... We literally just got rid of these, right? Those were... <laughs> okay, I guess there are... Uh... Guess... Yeah. Okay, let's play... Tiari. We can play this afterwards. Spritelings. So if they activate this, we could potentially play this. Okay. So we can play this. Okay. Um, do I want to play this now? I don't see why I w couldn't or wouldn't. No one is beyond my reach. No one. You could play the Sprite Mother, I think it's called, which gives. Okay, or not? We just make him pay. Pay the fee. Okay, that's fine. So what we do here is attack, attack like this. <clears throat> so this is gonna sleep an ally. We don't really have any of our like game finishing cards here. Um, shapes don't came back, and we have these now. I just realised stories are a yeah, stories are gonna be a definitely a thing in this game. Definitely a mechanic. Uh, so yeah, they're gonna sleep. Uh, not this, probably the card, the Sprite Mother. This is just kind of like a Spriteling deck, like an all-in Spriteling deck. Hey, there we go. That's a card. So we can go this. Or like Tiari. Hold mana for this, then play this. Yeah, it's like these two this turn. So that we hold mana up for this. Then we can play Mountain Sojourners. Draw one. It's fine. The next turn we have the real fun. Because if anything... I guess like a stun. But like if they're stunning at any speed, we get like a good choice to... Yeah, sleep a unit. No, that's fine. I expected as much. So... Here. Here. Like this. Actually, no. We want to pull... It's gonna trade. We want it to trade with the healthy one. Uh, we're uh, not gonna let you get away with that twice. So they can uh, draw again this turn. Okay, lots of uh, <laughs> Spritelings. Eventually we'll get through them. And eventually we'll draw a Tarek. So, we have a double suppression here as well, which should be quite nice. I ideally want him to use... Yeah, there we go. Oh, the landmark does get destroyed when it hits three. I didn't even realise. I didn't know. So I'm glad that is the case. 
Uh, so let's hope that the suppression doesn't also get discounted. This is what I want to check. Anyone gathered here is an enemy of the crowd. No, it's two. It is two mana. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, would you look at that? It's a uh, opponent has tapped out of mana. Uh, okay, so we want to keep that alive. Actually, no, but what we want to do, we probably want to do it on this. <clears throat> so if you get the burst, we'll destroy that before... Well, we need to attack before they can get that off. Then we need to destroy it. Keep going. So, no time to rest. Beg for mercy. Uh, I guess if we're gonna lose a unit, we're gonna lose. Okay. So. If they have a deny or an opify, they're gonna have to play the suppression the moment I play this. So it's use this, play this, then. Bastard. I need a I need an angry emote. There you go. That's a good one. It should get it back to a level 1, though. It shouldn't go back to 2. That's a little frustrating. I won't lie. We delay the inevitable. Okay. Why are we sleeping this? I guess just to get the Lamar out of the way. Well, they have no draw, right? So... Wait, they... He... They used this, but they didn't get the effect. Interesting. Maybe that's a bug. Oh, they get spirit. Oh, that's because of this one? Means so little. Oh, and it's very bugged then. So that's what happens. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. Uh, so I'll play Tarik after they've attacked. Yeah, it's very bugged. It says it's two, but it's actually three. That's how that works? I'll be sending this to Plink. Well, not Plink, Brian. Plink was the one who designed the card. Brian, really? Really? What the actual fuck? Manifest... That might have been actually the best card they could have gotten. What's what are you stunning? These two? So this? I mean I have to block with this now because Careful. I actually cannot believe I'm losing for this. This seemed like such a bad deck. Bro's not even caring about that. So th this is just glitch then. This is this should say three. And when you revive it, it goes back to three. Yeah. 
the best top deck I can get right now this is, rather dull. is the Grant 2 Spirit card, because I think we can get lethal. That's pretty good as well. To protect all. I won't stop now. So depending on what they got from their regions, that cost a lot, but less. Where am I? Everywhere. Okay, sorry about that. I was just typing a tweet out. Uh, okay, look, we're gonna go pretty fast here, I think, so let's hit the uh, go fast. I like this. This seems pretty good. Tracker, Lux, Inspiring Light, Carrick, Bale Blessing. Seems pretty quick. Okay, so we play Lux, and then depending on what they do, we can do this, because we could trade with the uh, the Cosmic Youngling if they just play, like, three mana something. Um. So we can't do that anymore, but... Uh, let's just bank the mana, actually. Bank the mana, play Tarek, then we'll play this. Then we'll play Magical Fettering, and then Tarek will copy it. That's the plan, anyway. So we burst speed, give them more cards. Ready to shine. And then if they try to buff it out of the... Like, if they try to, like, stun Hawk again, we can try and counter it. So let's see. Possibly a stun. And he's just doing it now because he doesn't want me to copy it. Which is probably pretty smart, but... Yeah. So... Um the crown guard won't fail. So this goes to four, so we can pull this in. What was I so afraid of? Play this. Play inspiring light again. They've got a suppression. So if they tap below Suppression. We've probably got quite a uh, funny thing. We've also got another Mage Seeker Inquisitor. So that's uh, another suppression. We could just suppress them. Just continue continuous suppression. Um, I don't mind. I don't hate the idea. Okay, suppression. We'll take this. We'll play the Mage Seeker. We'll play the Inspiring Light. Looks most likely levels from our attack if we attack with everyone and play Inspiring Light. I find mages are like weeds. Best stuff. Your predilection for cruelty will haunt you one day. Yeah. 
So six mana. We have to pay. So it's unshackle. Unshackle. Pay four. They can't stop the suppression now, so they can only develop. Ah. I won't stop now. So I actually want to do this because I, I want to do that, and then I want to do that. And they can't do anything with spells because of the suppression. And then I'm hoping that they tap out of mana next turn so that we can do Golden Aegis. Rally shenanigans. Tarek levels off basically the next Golden Aegis. Uh, sorry, after the Golden Aegis it's only one more. So it's like these two. Exact mana. So he golden ages, he gets stunned. Okay, so they have enough for... Specifically the... Um, Morgana stun card, Dark Binding. But apart from that, that's it. So... Let's see. Shroud the world and <laughs> that's what I like to see. Okay, here. Here. Then this is going to get can't die. I won't stop now. So then we can go like that. Oh no, not like that actually. Yep. <laughs> Wait, she's humming this little light of mine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Right, here we go. So, took a, uh, a moment. Or three. But we, uh, we got the combo. Yeah, an opponent surrenders. That is what we like to see. God, this deck feels honestly really, really solid. Like, you're, you're just putting your opponent on the back foot all the time.